Hi everyone, uh, Mr. Steed here again. I'm just going to go through another example of a composite 3D shape and how to find the volume of that shape. So our example is going to be something involving an ice cream cone. So an ice cream cone um, is going to have a cone shape on the bottom. So here's our ice cream cone. And we want to figure out the volume of ice cream that we're eating. So it's gonna we're going to assume this cone part is completely filled with ice cream. All right, so here's our cone. And then on top, we have a scoop of ice cream. Okay, so what we have here is basically a cone and half of a sphere, All right? Um, so we're gonna say the height of the cone without the ice cream we'll say is, I don't know, um, 10 centimeters. That seems about right. Uh, and then we'll say the radius of the cone, which happens to also be the radius of the sphere, we'll say is, um, let's say, that seems a little big, let's say three centimeters. Not sure if these dimensions make sense, but we're just gonna go with it. So this, believe it or not, is all the information we'll need. We don't really need the height of the sphere because the sphere just has one dimension. It's the radius um, or one measurement, I guess. All right, so what we need to do, kind of like we did before, um, is we wanna have our two different volumes. So we'll find the volume of the cone first. And if you remember, um, the formula for volume of a cone is one-third times pi times radius squared times height. That's our volume formula. So it's the cylinder formula times one-third. So let's figure that out. The volume, and we're going to keep everything in terms of pi until the end. Uh, so we have one-third times our radius squared, three squared, times 10 times pi, which is just moving the pi to the end, and then we'll do all of this math. So 1 third times 9 is 3 times 10 times pi. So this is just going to be 30 pi, okay? Um, 9 times 1 third, again, is like 9 divided by 3. That's 3 times 10, 30 pi. So that's our cone. So the volume of the cone is 30 pi. Now we need to find the volume of the half of a sphere. So I'll say half sphere. All right, so the volume for an entire sphere, if you remember, um, is 4 thirds pi times radius to the third power. Okay, since we're talking about a half of a sphere, we're going to want to do that and then divide that whole thing by 2. Okay, so our sphere, half of a sphere that is, is four thirds times three cubed times pi, and then that whole thing divided by two. Okay, so four thirds times 27, okay, four thirds times 27 times 27 is 36 times pi divided by 2. Because the divide by 2 is because it's half of a sphere. So 4 thirds times 27 times pi divided by 2 is 36 pi divided by 2. This is going to be 18 pi. Okay, so now we need to add our 18 to our 30 and that will give us the complete volume. So total volume is 30 pi plus 18 pi. So that's going to be 48 pi cubic centimeters. So now that's the exact value. If you want to find what it is times pi, um, you're going to multiply either by 3.14 or you're going to use your calculator and click on the pi key. Um, so this calculator doesn't have a pi key, so I'm just going to do 48 times 
3.14 and it's about 150.7 cubic centimeters. Using the pi key, you're going to be a, getting a slightly different answer, but it's going to be close enough to the same thing. So that's the volume of the cone and the half a sphere all together. Hope this helped and have a good day.